Hello, Op Amp here, and what I have for you is a Multilock Junior. Uh, this is a uh, relatively new lock to me, and you can see your bidding right there. Uh, pretty good, and this lock works very smoothly. Uh, is a new lock, like I said, so would not expect anything else. Uh, I'm going to use a uh, Z-Bar that you might get in uh, a cheap overseas set. And I'm um, also using uh, a dimple pick from one of those sets uh, just with a 3D printed handle. So, here we go. I've got outer of pin one, little click, actually tap the inner of pin one and it also went into a bit of a false set there. So now I've got pin two, some counter rotation, outer of pin three, counter rotation, pin four I've got nothing, and pin five I've got nothing. I'm going to come back to the beginning we got a really deep false set now off of pin 1. This is pin 3, counter rotation. Back into a pretty deep false set. I'm just working back and forth, feeling those outer pins uh, to make sure they're set. And now I'm coming into the back of the lock here. 5, that was pin 5. We got a really deep false set, and I'm not feeling any more feedback on those outer pins really. Oh, here we go. That's pin feels like pin four. Really high there. Okay, feels like I got something on that. A little bit of a click, uh, but I partially lost that fall set. Oh, and we're back into a deep fall set. Uh, sometimes I pulse the tension a little bit and uh, now it really feels like things are set in there. So I may have set all the outer pins. I'm going to now try and feel the inner pins with a little bit less tension. And I'm just going to go along and see if I can get all of those set. And there we go. I think that last one was pin 3 that I hit. And we have it open. I could um, sort of leave the lock in this position and gut like this, um, but I do run the risk of having this rotate further and those drivers fall down and sort of jam things up. Um, not a disaster, I just have to push them back up. But since I have the key, I'm going to lock it back up. And uh, bear with me for a second, I'm just going to adjust my camera a little bit. And uh, we'll get this guy gutted for you that down, get this out of the way here. Okay. So the first thing we have is uh, a tail piece on here. Um, and uh, a couple of screws. Normally that would hold the tail piece uh, for the deadbolt or for the bolt part. Get that off of there, get that out of the way, and I'm going to get my key right here and insert it into the lock. And I'm going to turn it so that I'm blocking those drivers from falling down. And I'm just going to take my follower right here. And let me make sure I have my pins oriented properly, and I do. And I'm just going to push right through. Okay, not too bad. Uh, so there you have all your pins. You can see the pin in pin. And let me get all these out for you. So that's your uh, outer an inner 
keep in one your outer and inner key pin two outer and inner key pin three and your outer and inner key pins four and finally outer and inner key pins five Uh, nothing special in there. Now we'll get our driver pins out of here. These are under a pretty good amount of spring tension and uh, so I'm going to try to do this without having to search the carpet. Definitely had that experience before. And one is a standard regular spring. Two is a spool. Again, same regular spring. I uh, kind of expect the rest of these to be spools just because I got all that counter rotation. Here's three is a spool also. Whoops. Again, same spring. Four. Also a spool. That spring. And five. Also a spool there. And the same deal if I can get that spring out of there. regular spring and uh, nothing fancy in here no counter milling or uh, threading or any sorts of stuff like that um, so you can see let me see if I can get you a close-up of the bidding right there so that's your bidding right here um, one of the interesting things about uh, these multi locks uh, besides having this interesting pin design where it's a pin in a pin, um, if you look at this driver here, uh, see if I can get you in frame. If you look at the driver right here, it's actually sprung inside. So not only do you have the overall driver pushing, but you actually have the inner pin separately sprung. Um, so it gives it a really interesting feel while you're there in the lock. Um, so I hope this has been uh, interesting and enjoyable for you. And uh, this is Ampamp. Thank you for watching.